What do you got on your uh, Atari and stuff? Morning. Still your video games already? No, they, um, well, they're not really games, I guess. We've got the Nintendo DS Lite. Okay. Um, and it comes with a couple games and then new styluses. And they it works. I charged it last night and okay. turned it on. What are you asking for it? 75. 75, okay. Good luck, like you on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> really? Yeah, I got a YouTube what channel. Oh, what do you, what do you, what's your YouTube channel? It's called Cincinnati Picker. Yeah, I just go out and about find that stuff. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna have to follow you. What, yeah, it, what, check it out. What's the name? Cincinnati just Picker. Cincinnati Picker? Yeah. yeah okay, I'm definitely gonna follow yeah, you. Yeah, check that's it out. That's fun. 75. Come see your speakers. Um, uh, $2. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. How about this Christmas photo? Five bucks. So, you got it. Okay, awesome. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Morning. Morning. Everybody's here to see you, aren't they? I think so. We're all here to see you. Oh, wow. You're so cute. He's definitely a ladies' man. Beautiful dog. I'm gonna buy this cooler. Uh, would you go 20 on the Yeti? How much? 20. Um, sure. All right, I get 25. I'll take you home with me. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful dog. I'll set these here. I'll keep looking around. I might find something else. I'm going to take your pilot stuff. Thank you. Good luck for sale. Yeah, thank you. Morning. Hi. Good morning. Don't point out everything out yet, but. Yeah, sorry, we're early. That's okay. Are some of the things in your garage for sale? Yeah, uh, on the right side. Okay. So there's two cameras in each one of those cases. Oh, cool. Uh, three of them are Minolta's. Okay. Oh, wow. And then the other ones are even older. Yeah, I'll take it all for 25 bucks. Okay. Thank you so much. There you Thank go. You. Good and luck with your sale. Yeah. Thank you. Were you taking one or two? Oh, I thought it was 25 for all of no, it. No, it's 25 each. <laughs> gotcha. I'm sorry. Um, so that one has the older ones and all the lenses and stuff. These ones are a little bit newer, but they're the same body, these two. Yeah, I'll just take it all. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I was okay. confused. Okay. <laughs> you want to give me five back? Sure. All right, all right. One, two, three, four, and five. Thanks so much. Thank you. No, uh, that, that up here on the table. On the table. How much are your chairs? I'll make an offer. How much would you pay for them? Let's see. I don't need all of them. I'd buy um, those two and the bench. About 15 bucks. Sounds good to me. All right, cool. You I'll keep it. looking around and see what else I can find. Okay. I'll set these aside. Right. Would you do another five for that one? Yeah. All right, I'll you yeah. 20. I'll you 20 bucks. 20 bucks. No problem. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Morning. Good morning. 
morning. How much are the houses? There's a lot of them. Both sets are, because I think there's actually two different sets. Yeah, I see some up here. I'm thinking like a hundred a set. hundred bucks a set? <laughs> so this is a set and then this is I all a set? So. That, okay. I think that's what he told me. Gotcha. I think he said the people in this one are a little different size than the people in that one. I don't know if it's a set set. This is just all the miscellaneous ones he had bought over the years. Gotcha. There's quite a few in there, it seems like. Okay, I'll keep looking around. I'll think about it. <laughs> what do you got on your uh, Atari and stuff? The whole set, 120. 120? Came out of his house too, so I don't really know much about it. Tell you what, if I buy the one box of houses and this, just make it 200 even? I could probably do that. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Now, how much if he throws... You throw <laughs> I'll throw that in. Alright! <laughs> There's a hundred. Let me go get you another hundred out of the car. I'll be right back. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate you. Alright, we're done hitting sales, and Mom's going to show off what she found. I found this beautiful Christmas picture. I plan on putting in the front living room. And, are you ready for this? I found kids bingles. Oh no! How cool is that? That's awesome. It comes with a little bag. You paid five bucks? Three dollars. Three dollars. Look at that. Nice. How much was the artwork? Three dollars. Three dollars. And I found this my son found this, this bumble ball. Somebody gave free, us that for free? Free. And I got these two cases of diapers. I like to keep diapers at the house for all the grandkids. She wanted 10, but I got it for $8. If you buy diapers, you know that's a heck of a deal. I got all kinds of Christmas crafts for the kids, for them to make for their parents. I got all these books. Most of them were free. And I'm just so excited about those. I got this, and I already bought this on Amazon Prime Day for like $15 or $16, a dollar. So the one to Amazon Prime, it's going back. Then I got, we took the kid's bedroom and we turned it into an ocean scene. And I got these cool mermaid stuff to put up. Awesome. I know. I got all these for five dollars. She wanted eight, but I got her to five. Super excited. Then I got kids and I use Play-Doh all the time, and I got all these cookie cutters for a dollar a bag. She wanted five, a dollar, <laughs> and all these books. They were free. free. You did great. Did I do great? You did. I'm back at the shop, and I got a ton of stuff at the garage sales so at one sale i bought a big box of these like carol town and lamax houses to be honest these are kind of a pain to sell because you got to get them out of the styrofoam take a bunch of pictures you know really get close and make sure that like none of these little tiny pieces are broken off because that happens a lot uh, but there's some value there i mean i looked up three or four of these and they were going for around 40 dollars each and I got one, two, I think 11, 11 pieces for, uh, I guess a hundred bucks or 80 bucks. Cause I bundled them with the Atari. So I, th I think a minimum I'll double my money on those houses. Um, if you can get these things cheap enough, keep an eye out for them. Some of the older ones, like the older, older department 56 don't go for a lot, but a lot of the modern ones do, uh, especially the Halloween. I've done really good with the Halloween ones. Here's the Atari stuff that I bundled it with. So we've got the original Atari, uh, the controllers, joysticks. Looks like there's, these are, I think these are aftermarket. Slick stick? Yeah, some of these are aftermarket, so I might try to sell those separately. Has the original box, which is pretty rare to find. 
in a lot of box games, which is also pretty rare to find. I seem to never find boxed Atari games. I have not looked each of these up individually. I don't think these are going to sell anywhere near like what NES games sell for when they're boxed. But I do think there are there's some value. Uh, probably on average, ten bucks a game, something like that, uh, and the value is in the box because loose Atari games are typically only worth like a couple bucks at best. The system, I saw prices anywhere from like 100 to 250, so I really don't know what I'm gonna get for it, but I'm into it for, I bundled the Atari stuff and the houses for $200, so I'm into it for like 100 bucks, so I think there's some profit to be made on that. I got this flight simulator and um, pedals and all this stuff for 30 bucks. The pedals are loan are going between fifty to hundred dollars. This thing right here is only going for maybe twenty. The simulator being from two thousand, I don't know. I might get five or ten bucks for that. Keep an eye out for some of the simulators. Some of the more modern ones can go for some good money. Got a Yeti. I've never found a Yeti at a garage sale. Seems like people just don't really want to get rid of them. I paid twenty bucks for it. This is the Roadie Twenty. I think this one sells new for around two hundred or two fifty. I'm gonna try to get a hundred bucks for it. Got some cameras at one sale. She had a sign that said $25 for two, and I thought that meant two bags, but she was saying that she had two cameras in each one. So I ended up paying 50 bucks, but there's a lot of pieces in here, a lot of lenses. I don't know that there's any like Canon or Nikon in here. I think it's a lot of Minolta stuff, but there's still some value with these. So this one, let's see. I didn't even pull these out. This is my first time looking at them. This is the Konica FT1. Let's see what we got in here, another lens. This one is Minolta Maxim 5000. This is Minolta Maxim 5. And we got another Minolta. Minolta Maxim 5. So if I can get 25 bucks a piece on the cameras and then a little bit of money for the lenses, I should uh, double my money even after eBay fees. So hopefully they're worth that. We'll see. I got this really cool McGregor bag. It does not look like anything special. It actually looks pretty ratty and gross, if we're being honest. Uh, but this kangaroo caught my eye. So I Googled or searched on eBay, you know, McGregor kangaroo, and uh, they made some kangaroo leather stuff, and it's pretty rare and hard to find. This bag, uh, a brown one, sold for 150 bucks. There was also some golf bags. Uh, that were selling for like 300 The guy said he had the golf bag, didn't want to sell it. Keep an eye out for McGregor uh, Kangaroo. Now this one, I paid 10 bucks. Being in the condition that it's in, I'm going to try to get $100. we will see. You guys probably think I'm crazy trying to sell a ready old bag for 100 bucks, But somebody wants it, I'm sure. Uh, that McGregor Kangaroo stuff is pretty rare. Got these Bose Companion computer speakers for $2. They're going for about 30 or 40 Got a bunch of old iPad 2s for 5 bucks a piece. These are basically useless nowadays because they don't run on the new iOS. I was trying to set one up to let my kids play on it and I couldn't even get it like registered. So I don't know, I guess people are jailbreaking them. They're selling for about 20, 25 bucks. So I think there's a little bit of profit to be made. Who remembers the Drew Carey show from the nineties before he was hosting The Price is Right. He had his own sitcom. Uh, the Drew Carey Show, and a uh, fun fact about this show, the uh, the opening song, the theme song, was by a band called Presidents of the United States of America, and they played a song called Cleveland Rocks. Um, I don't think, I think it was a cover, I don't think it was originally their song, but they did a great job playing it, it was a really fun show. Paid a dollar for this, uh, it is dirty, gotta clean it up, but I saw some sale, sales comps around 20 to 30 bucks on that. And last thing I found is this Fujifilm Instax Mini 7S camera. Paid five and those are selling for about 25 bucks. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.